We're at the Autonomous Truck Conference in Detroit. I'm joined right now by Magnus Rilby. He's the manager of vehicle dynamics and active safety at AB Volvo. That's the truck side of Volvo, of course. Yeah. Magnus, bring us up to speed with what Volvo's doing right now. Why is it approaching this technology for both semi-autonomy and autonomy in trucks? Well, we come from the background where safety is one of the core values of AB Volvo. We're always trying to be leading in safety and we come from, you know, we've worked a lot with passive safety. We have strong cabs, cabs and we have uh, good vehicle dynamics and we've been, during the last 20 years, been working with active safety and I would say that we have one of the best product offering in, in this area. And now we're looking into what vehicle automation can bring to this in terms of safety. But also there are other benefits with vehicle automation like fuel economy and productivity for the driver and the, and the um, truck owner. So that's a lot of things that vehicle automation can bring to the fleet owners and the owner of the truck. That's why we're working with this. Be a little bit more specific. What are you doing in terms of moving from active safety into automation? Specifically, what technologies are you looking at? Uh, we're looking at on how, how can you automate things to make life simpler for the truck driver. And that's uh, when it comes to, uh, for example, we're looking at advanced environmental sensors, we call them. Call them. That can be radar sensors or cameras with digital processing, leaders, and uh, uh, sensors that helps you keep track of the state of the truck and the vehicle dynamics. And also onto this you add connectivity and you can add digital maps. And all of these things are being fused into the system and out of that you extract the data that you want to build features or functions upon. And there, that's a really tricky part. And I would say this, to get to know the environment around the track, that's a real challenge and that's where we're trying to be ahead of our competitors. How far are we away from seeing this kind of technology in production in actual trucks? I think you will see a stepwise approach when it comes to this, when you add on features to the the systems that we have on the tracks today. Today we have collision warning, we have emergency braking, and you have lane departure warning, and we have a system called Volvo Dynamic Steering, which is a fundamental com component to enable vehicle automation where you can electronic electronically control the, the lateral movement of the tracks. And then from there we will evolve things uh, stepwise. I don't think, I don't believe in the revolution that you go from zero and then you go to up to full autonomous track. We'll take it stepwise and along this way we'll need to really safeguard that it's safe and we will not jeopardize safety when we introduce these type of technologies. And there are many things that you need to watch on. You need to, for example, you need to look at the, uh, the driver. What's the driver doing? How can we support him in the best way? And to keep him in the loop and not to lose him so that he doesn't fall asleep or things like that. And that, that's our important factors. And how do you or how do fleets make a business case out of this? Because as you add this technology, of course, it's going to add cost. It's all about safety, as you say, but yes. when it comes to pencil the numbers, sometimes that can be difficult. Yes, and that's, that's true. That's a real uh, essential here. But I think there are really good business cases for this. We look at it on, on two sides. One is the when you use the trucks or vehicles uh, on what we call restricted areas. That's where, uh, like in a mining area or a harbor area or a terminals, where you have a fence around and you can more or less design your own traffic rules. There you can go fairly high up in automation level rather quickly. Mm -hmm. And there you can release, uh, I would say, the burden of the driver and you can in some cases also take away the driver fully. And by that you can imagine that you can increase productivity a lot. And also when you're uh, managing or maneuvering the truck in low speed, that's uh, the drivers often spend a lot of time there. And if you can support the driver here, you can earn a lot of money as a uh, vehicle owner or fleet owner. When you go on into to, uh, normal roads, I think one of the, uh, the main uh, thing here is that fuel economy that stands for a vital part of the cost for uh, running a transportation. And here you can for sure earn a lot of money. We, we, you will see concepts today where we show that you can gain um, 15 up to 20 percent in fuel. Of course there is money and that's uh, the payback will be rather quick if, if you can enable these type of features. And then it comes to safety, and here we will see, uh, and we believe in that you will be able to increase safety with this type of systems as well. Um, yeah. It's very interesting, all this technology coming into trucks right now. So thank you for bringing us up to speed with what AB Volvo is working on. Much Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Keep tuning in. We've got even more interviews coming from the floor at the Autonomous Truck Show in Detroit.